What's up? This is Rutger from Chartmetric. Welcome to Emerge. Today we're covering music data analytics for artists. What is music data analytics? It's kind of a big, scary word. But essentially, it's aggregating, organizing, and distilling music data and social media data, as we'll see later, into usually uh, it takes the form of a digital dashboard. So within this dashboard or platform, you might hear it referred to as, you'll find different metrics, different data sources, different data visualizations, interactive charts, that sort of thing. But the main gist of what music data analytics tries to accomplish in the music business context is to help music professionals understand their place in the music marketplace. As a result, these music data analytics platforms or tools or dashboards can take many different forms. So some focus on streaming and sales numbers, some focus on radio, some focus on a and and artist discovery, and some focus on mostly marketing metrics or even market intelligence. So these platforms are going to be less concerned with um, revenue or how many streams uh, a song is getting and what the royalty rate is for those streams and more about how is this artist growing their audience base in Indonesia or where is this artist's audience base, for example. But we'll dig into that a little more in depth later. So before we dig into some specific music data analytics tools, it's important to understand some key music data analytics terminology and concepts. And again, a lot of this is based on marketing terminology. So one of the first terms that you might see in some of these platforms is reach. And essentially what this is trying to, um, the question that this is trying to answer is how many people or how many listeners or potential fans is my track able to reach? And this is, for obvious reasons, can be related um, very closely to playlist ads because that increases your reach potentially exponentially depending on how many followers each playlist has. Related to reach is engagement. And engagement can be um, measured in many different ways, depending on the platform. So with Instagram, you post a, you know, you post you post something, a photo or a video or whatever it is. An engagement is a like or a comment. It's an indication that someone has done more than just seen your, which is called an impression by the way, has done more than just see your post or listen to your track they've actually gone an extra step and they've actively done something to show their engagement, whether it's a like or a follow. Relating both of those terms is conversion. And conversion measures essentially how many people who your track or your music is reaching are actually converting to engaged fans. So on Spotify, for example, the ratio between the amount of monthly listeners you have, which is a reach metric, by the way, and the number of followers you have, that can be an indication of conversion. How many people you are actually converting to fans. All right, so now let's dig into some of the actual music data analytics tools that are out there. So let's break these up into different buckets. So first you have streaming and sales analytics, and these are sort of like the industry standards. So they've been around for a while. Um, one of the most prominent ones is Nielsen Music Connect, and Nielsen is now owned by MRC Data. But basically they power the billboard charts, and they've been an industry standard for a long time. Another platform in the same vein is Alpha Data, formerly known as BuzzAngle, and they power Rolling Stones charts. So these two platforms are very similar in that they get actual stream counts from the DSPs or digital streaming platforms or digital service providers, whichever acronym you want to go by, they get those 
granular stream counts and they also get um, sales data or revenue from that. The next group of music data analytics tools includes ANR and music discovery tools. So one of these is Soda Tone and another one is Instrumental. Soda Tone is probably the more well-known tool because they were acquired by Warner Music Group and they really power um, Warner's ANR wing. Final category for music data analytics tools is market intelligence. And these include next big sound, sound charts, song stats, spot on track, four tunes, and our own tool, chart metric. So market intelligence is essentially understanding your place in the music market. So when you first log in, you'll be able to see your dashboard, which includes all of the artists, tracks, albums, playlists, or curators that you've clicked follow on in the top right-hand corner of their respective profiles. And you'll be able to see all of these different metrics, whether it's their follower count, um, the amount of YouTube views they have, and then you'll see some key terms like we went over earlier in this video, like conversion rate, um, the amount of playlists they're on. And if you click on any hyperlinked artist name, you'll be taken to their artist profile. Um, our product manager, Spencer, does a really good job of explaining how to use uh, the artist page. But basically, you'll see all these all these metrics that we talked about um, with reach, conversion, uh, reach to follower ratio. And you'll also see this popularity score um, for Spotify. And we also have our own popularity score called CPP, or cross-platform performance, which essentially allows us to compare across multiple platforms an artist's overall popularity compared to other artists. And this is done for all almost 2.6 million artists that we have in our database to date. But I highly recommend Spencer's video um, if you wanna dig deeper into how to actually use the tool. That's it. Don't forget to throw us a like, click that subscribe button, and sign up for our new indie level tier at chartmetric.com. It's about the price of a coffee per week. If you wanna dive even deeper, follow Beats and Bytes at blog.chartmetric.com, listen to How Music Charts on your favorite podcast listening platform, and say hi on our socials. Until next time, peace.